Mika Tribu. So you're joining me on a ride today. We're going to Bagabag and we're going to see a racetrack. As you can see, I'm on a Yamaha R3. It's the first generation. I borrowed it from a friend because I wanted to try it out on track and on the road. So this will be a simple review just to see how it's gonna feel because uh, for the initial impressions it already it already feels really really good. So along with me for the ride I have Jed, my nephew, uh, this is JD and that's Noel on the other side on the KTM. Uh, Jed has an R3, uh, the new one, uh, which I envy, but that's funny. So <laughs> yeah, um, it's gonna be quite noisy. Ah, uh, uh, right tribe, PH. Right tribe. Right tribe. Yeah. Mm, right. So yeah, uh, these guys are vloggers too. Bus, yung paper mo na mm. Ang importante pa man din yata. Ah, <laughs> ingat po, ingat. So yeah, anyway, um, we're just gonna try and have some fun today. Nothing serious, nothing too hardcore. Just gonna take it easy for today, yeah? Let's go! It's gonna be a little noisy today. So, let's mute the sounds, on with some music, and then we're off. Okay, let's go!
guys so our ride was done uh, it was two hours of uh, mixed weather there was a little bit of rain a while ago coming here and now we have arrived at uh, Sati racetrack S-A-T-Y it's a brand new racetrack here in Bayom Bambang Nova Vizcaya seems to be very fresh right now look the concrete still very white it's still clean and it looks like they were just laid down a few weeks ago and it's exciting uh, it's a tight track it's mostly for uh, go-karts but most likely we can also use uh, motorcycles here but it would be, have to be the smaller displacement bikes like the scooters the underbones and um, the 300 cc's uh, which is what we have so yeah uh, <clears throat> there's a new re track about to be built there or they're, they're still building it it's going to be a big one it's for the cars and mot bigger motorcycles but for now I think it's enough that we have something to call our own here it's really nice the closest racetrack we would have here is uh, Tarlac which is another four or five hours from here so it's already a long trip going down and then you still have to do the track day and then go head back up to where we are in Isabella so that's a that's a long ride yeah, and it's tiring and it's really good that they brought these here or they made one and I'm really proud that um, here in region region 2 we can finally say that we have a racetrack it's nice I'm really proud of these guys so good job right so I'll be showing you some videos or onboard videos of the racetrack later I won't be doing much about it so, uh, on the track so I only have uh, I'm riding street wear I don't have leathers and knee sliders and all that not that I'm a good rider not that I'm good enough to uh, slide my knees around anyway okay so I just want to tell you about the R3 later on because I'm really 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 impressed with how the bike handles itself it's so good okay so our review is coming up I just wanted to show you the track for now and I'll come back later when everything's all settled in and uh, we can start with the program and once we start with uh, the track day uh, I can start giving you uh, some of my feedback about what the bike felt what the bike does what I like and dislike about the bike um, on road and uh, luckily on track all right uh, I think this is my fourth session and uh, it's taking me a while to get used to the track and the tires on the bike aren't the grippiest for a track uh, I've had an instance a while ago where the what do you call this the front end pushed a little bit it slid a little oops what happened here there we go. So anyway, let's get started. So, sorry, I forgot my phone was in my pocket. Just a few laps, show you around. Nothing fancy, nothing fancy. Right. 